If you like the tie, it's a brand new tie that I picked up for tonight's show. I went over to your finest Walmart and uh, these were two for 20, so I got, now I go into the Walmart and the nice Cuban lady, she says, sir, do you need a mask? No, no, I'm good. A doctor says that, and this is how you get out of wearing a mask. You tell them that your doctor says you don't have to wear a mask. Sir, if you want to go to the store, you have to wear a mask. They, they, they listen, stupid. I'm telling you, my doctor says I don't have to wear one. Then like her Cuban boyfriend comes, sir, if you want to go to the store, you have to wear a mask. My doctor says I don't have to, well, if you uh, don't have to wear a mask and you want to go to the store, stay home. And I'm like, you stay home, Cuban P. I'm home. I've never been to Florida, but this is still America, goddammit. I'm home. I will go get the manager. Go get the manager. So I go get the manager, and guess what happened? I tell him the same thing. That's all I needed to know. Thank you, sir. That's it. If you just stand up to the motherfuckers, you can get away with a lot more. You gotta quit watching the news. You gotta put those phones down. You know, they lie to you all the time. It's gotten ridiculous. Sales for Corona beer have plummeted so bad they're actually going to have to change their name to AIDS. <laughs> it's that bad. Anyone remember a thing called 9-11? Remember that? Okay, now after 9-11 for weeks, what was it? Anthrax. Anthrax was going to get mailed to you. Anthrax was going to get put in your coffee. But we still went about our days, didn't we, folks? Good right. And we didn't wear a mask because we thought the sugar in our pack, oh, it's anthrax. We didn't do that. I have not conducted myself any different whatsoever. It's business as usual for me. I am shaking hands. I am coughing directly into people's faces just like I always do. It's affected church. I, I am not a Christian man myself, but I don't I don't like to see people's Sundays affected by this either. But because we still got people in like the mountains and Appalachia, you know, they're still drinking strychnine and handling snakes, thinking that they got the spirit of God in them, you know, they can do all that shit. But the COVID virus comes, they go from with God, all things are possible, but fuck this! <laughs> The news says to work when you see your local weather chick doing the forecast from the panic room behind the secret shelf in her living room, that's when everyone else starts to panic. And in the mask, they've just become another accessory now. It's like just to show off your favorite sports team. I did see a guy who was wearing a Trump 2020 mask, and so I said, hey, I like your mask. He's like, do you? Okay, fine, I don't want to it's just another accessory for people. Some guys are like, uh, they're just dangling them off their ear, you know. Now see what the black folks are doing, just like their pants, they're wearing them, but they're just kind of sagging them under their chin. <laughs> so thankfully you can still see their faces. Checking into the hotel last night, they had the baseball game on in the lobby. Have you seen this shit? Baseball, are they doing this with the Marlins in Tampa? Cardboard cutouts in the audience. We have a better crowd in this room right now than at any Major League Baseball game in America. There's pulses in this room, there's heartbeats, there's laughter, and any Major League stadium in America is just some cardboard cutout of a guy going... Hundreds of them. Because they saw how dead these games were for the first few days, and they're like, oh, we've got to do something. We're not going to let people... Cardboard cutout, and someone actually approved that idea. <laughs> For the first few rows, and then someone hits a home run, the camera has to pan back. Oh, yeah, it's still empty. <laughs> I like the duct tape marks on the floor at the store, denoting where the six feet are, so I don't overstep my bounds. I think we need to take this a step further. I think we need to wear uh, six foot Roman spears attached to steady cam harnesses whenever we're going to tell them to speak better than the six foot distance like this. <laughs> You backed into my spear, you got too close. If I'm not paying attention, I back up, I get stabbed on your spear, that's on me. Yeah. My girlfriend, she's here in the back, and uh, she's recording all of this madness tonight for me. Um, I, I was trying to tell her about this back in March. This uh, woman, she was uh, passing through from Arizona, and uh, she was pumping gas, and she too was wearing one of these masks, and I got about that far in the story, my girlfriend's like, oh my god, did you wash your hands? What? We, uh, you got done pumping gas, did you wash your hands? No, didn't occur to me to wash Oh, great, great. You just had your fingers inside me an hour ago, now I'm going to get the coronavirus. That's just great. And I'm like, 
Can I just finish the story, please? Can I? And she's going. No, she's, this is why I sit the kids away. This is why I sanitize everything. I have time to make a blood like vitamin C. I have time to make a blood like vitamin C. And I'm like, what is this like doing X number of Hail Marys or something? Yeah, I have to say, uh, I have time to make a blood sometimes. And I'm trying to reassure her. You know, I'm trying to give her some words of encouragement. Things like, oh, come on. Come on now. Oh, come on. Finally, I, I just, I had a reason with her. I said, look. Even if, even if I, you know, by chance did pass COVID-19 to you vaginally by a finger, look, you just squirted four gallons of some fluid that doctors cannot decide on what exactly it is, okay? So if you let that, it, it shot right back up. And now it's in my head. Thank you very much. My name's Richard Casey. Enjoy the rest of your show. Good night.